Hello and welcome! We will create an offline Bitcoin wallet using Electrum on Puppy Linux using boot bootable USB stick. So first we go to puppylinux.com and we download the ISO image of Puppy Linux. We will take the version Xenial 64-bit, the latest one. So you download it ISO. Next, we need the Rufus, which is a tool to create a bootable USB. Doesn't require install. It's important to select FAT32 and select ISO image of the Puppy Linux and start writing to your USB. Then you boot from your USB and the Puppy Linux boots up slowly but it will boot and the first thing that we need to do after boot is to exit to, to create a save file so uh, to preserve all the changes we do so we first click menu and exit reboot so it asks us to save the changes otherwise we lose all the changes but we don't have place to save the file so we need to create a place maybe it will be different on <coughs> on your environment here we boot again and now I need to create a place to save a save file. This is a virtual machine so maybe on the USB stick it will be a bit different. Maybe you could skip this step but I need to do it to save the file. Save file. So first we will go to partition manager. called gparted and in that partition manager I need to create the partition table on my disk ah this pop up okay partition table is created then I will create a partition and apply After it is done, I can then exit the Puppy Linux and hopefully I will succeed to save the state. Reboot. Now press save. Administrator. Continue. Encrypt because we want to be we want to put strong password there so 500 megs should be enough but you can put more and some file name for your save file save After this is finished, we will do a next step. Swap file we don't need and a reboot is in progress. Now we enter the password we defined in this previous step. Don't forget that password. Now let's open browser and go to ah pop up 
and go to Electrum web page, electrum.org. Download 306 and you see we need uh, we have a prerequisites components to install and first component is this one we will install it through package manager but first we will refresh package managers database so you press update and wait until it finishes it's a bit shorter here Okay, we updated package manager. Now we paste the name of the package and select the one with numbers. And the next one and the next one. And we will put all three. We will select all three specified on Electrum web page. But that is not enough, because installation would fail. In addition to those three, we will have to add SIP instead of PIP. So we will type, just delete this PIP and type SIP. Search. And add that too. And just do it. Now installation is finished after some time and we see everything went fine, all is in green area. We close this and then we need to install with this command, but without sudo. We don't need sudo here, so we'll just copy without sudo and paste with middle click, middle click uh, mouse, middle button of the mouse and we see that we get error because pip3 is not found. So we go to file manager, up, user, bin, and then search for Python free, it's in red. It points to a not non-existing folder. So we'll rename this Python 3.5 into Python free. We will delete point 0.5 from the end and click rename. Now the red item is gone. Try again. Just arrow up to repeat the command. And now no error. It is going. Installation is proceeding. After some time it finishes. And then uh, we will disable the network. We want to install it offline. You could also enable the firewall for additional security. So we'll type Electrum and enter. You pick a name, offline wallet, for example, standard wallet, new seed, standard or, or segwit. And that's it. Thank you for attention. I hope it was helpful to you. Bye.